Hello, and welcome to the first of what will be a series of videos teaching you how to play GAMSIV, an add-on for the open source strategy game Battle for West Noth. Now what this add-on does is it adds a lot of features that are commonly found in other strategy games, but that you won't find in West Noth. These are things like constructing buildings, tearing them down, farming, managing resources, and so on. Uh, this first video is going to go over the basics of interacting with the user interface, and it's going to teach you about huts, which are the most important building in GAMSIV. So most of the interaction that you'll have with this add-on is through right-click menus. So when you right-click on various things, you'll notice options that aren't ordinarily there. The first of these is if you right-click on your leader, you can check your resources. And this shows you uh, resources that you have other than gold. Gold is at the top, it's just like regular West Noth but you have other resources here. There are citizens, which is not tied to how many units you have, it's a separate number. It controls how many action points you get each turn, which is here in zero active. Now, whenever you do something, you use up an action point, and you only get so many action points per turn. So this keeps the turn short, so you can't sit and build for an hour while your opponents wait for you. Uh, next, you have food, which you'll get via farming or fishing. You'll spend that on various things, and material you can get by chopping down trees. You'll use that to construct buildings. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is recruit a peasant. And now turn one is a special turn. If I check my resources again, I can see that they're still the same. Recruiting this peasant ordinarily would cost me one food and one action point. But because turn one is the recruitment turn, it's a little different than the rest of the turns. You can't build on turn one, but you, you get uh, nearly free recruiting. It doesn't cost you any actions, it doesn't cost you any food, it only costs you gold. Uh, I'll recruit another peasant on my next turn to show you how that works. So now we're on turn two, it's a regular turn. I can build this turn, and I also have action points now, if I check my resources again. So I'm going to recruit another peasant, and we can see now it cost me extra, it cost me some gold, it cost me an action point, and it cost me a food. Now, you can actually increase the number of action points you get each turn, and you do that by building a hut, which I'll show you how to do in a second. How you build, in general, is you can right click anywhere within three spaces of a peasant, and you'll get options to build things. If you right click uh, out of range of that, you'll get a, a message that says no worker nearby. If you click on that, it says you can only build within three hexes of a peasant. So if I move over there, now I, can, I have the build options here. However, I can't keep going forever. At some point, you'll get a, a message that says no community nearby. So even if you had a peasant there, you still don't have community. Now let's click and see what that is you have to be within seven hexes of your leader on a keep. So here's my leader, he's on a keep, and that is out of range of him, this hex right here. You can also be within 15 hexes of a hut that you own. So there's where those huts come in. If I were to build a hut that's in range of this, 15, much further than my leader, much better than relying on my leader, uh, is to build a hut because it extends your range out quite a bit. So let, let's try building one of these huts. Uh, you do this by right clicking on the ground and clicking on build something. Here's a hut. You can see what each of these options cost. And up at the top of every menu, you'll be able to see how, what your current resources are. So you don't have to keep right clicking on your leader. I can see that I have four actions left, 86 gold, nine food, and 30 material. All right, let's see what the hut costs. That costs one action, check. 75 gold, check. 20 food, I don't have enough food. That's a problem. I have enough material, so never mind. Can't do that yet. We need to get more food. How you do that is by planting crops. You can plant crops by right clicking on flat ground. Choose plant crops. We want to plant wheat because each one of these wheat, when you harvest them, gives you three food. So I'm going to go ahead and plant four of those. That's 12 extra food when I harvest them for 21 food total, which will be enough for a hut. Now if you look here, you see these red runes. 
whenever you build something or change something it'll put a red rune down and you get this message that you use this hex already you can only modify a hex once per turn if I want to do something else there I'm gonna have to wait for my next turn alright and since I don't have any action points left see zero active I'm just gonna go ahead and end my turn now on my turn when it comes back here those crops got automatically harvested for me just to save you time and clicking harvesting crops is absolutely free it does not cost you any action points to harvest crops only to plant so if you want to steal your enemies crops you can do that at no charge if they're farming too close to you or if you're attacking them just go in and steal their crops uh, the other thing you can harvest for free that you might want to do is mushrooms the mainline maps have these scattered all over the place and you can play this add-on on any map that you want so if you see these mushrooms harvest them it doesn't cost you anything and it gives you 25 extra gold it's very good to just get out there and snatch those before your opponents do so now let's see I have 21 food I can build a hut so I'm gonna choose to build a hut and now if I click here it, I don't get that option about not having a community. I have to go clear up here before I get told that there's no community nearby. So that's a, that's a long range that I can build in. Uh, the other thing that's going to happen next turn is this is going to give me more citizens. That's another function that huts provide. Every hut you build is going to give you more citizens. Uh, so let's see that in action. I'm going to end my turn even though I have actions left here. Wow, now I have 10 citizens, 10 action points every turn. Now not every single HUD is going to give you an extra 5 citizens. They actually, the more you build, the less bonus they give you. The first one you build gives you 5 extra citizens. The second one you build only gives you 2. Each one after that only gives you 1, up to a cap of 25. So no matter how rich you are, you can only perform 25 actions in a turn. That's to prevent, like I said, the turns from stretching out to be three hours where nobody wants to sit and wait in multiplayer. So now I can do lots of things each turn, such as chopping down this tree here, which will refund. Notice I have less material now. When I chop down this tree, I get more material. And notice that these red runes from before are gone. I can build here again. What? you build though could also be destroyed I could come over here and tear down this encampment you just cost you some action points and you tear it right down so you might be wondering what's stopping me from coming over here and just tearing down the enemy castle well nothing's stopping me that is a valid tactic you can do that in Gamsif you can go tear down the enemy's castle and that gives you an edge when you're fighting them now, if you were facing a human opponent and not AI, there is one thing they could do to defend themselves from that. And that is yet another important function of huts. They actually provide a little protection radius right around them. So these hexes that are surrounding my hut, my enemies would not be able to build or tear down in them. So if I had built this hut over here on this hex, uh, it would be protecting my keep and castle so that that's one more important thing that huts do you can see why they're the most important building they let you build out further they give you more action points and they protect your stuff so they're very important buildings uh, that is it for this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you try Gamsiv and that you like it thank you for watching